Wait, wait, wait. I know what you're thinking. Jay, before you start going Super Saiyan and acting like you've been vlogging the entire time, we need answers. Where have the basketball vlogs been? Well, I can explain. It kind of all started early last month. We actually still had the gym at the time and everything was normal. Couple of reaction drills with Clay, you know Coach Clay is still getting us right. Full court one on one just to make sure we're still in shape. Art was still out of shape. Gotta sit like this. <laughs> you're not, about to, there. you're not there. about to throw up though. You're good. You're good. There we go. We're good. A little shooting to make sure the three point shot is still looking KD like. Yeah, everything was normal. And I know you guys like to know how we're looking in one on one situations, so I'll let the clips ride from here. Okay, so what we're gonna do is when people when we get tired in these workouts because it's hot, people are moving, we've been going all week. So we're gonna do uh, one versus one, three different spots. We're gonna change it up a little bit. Uh, we're gonna get three stops. First person to three stops, three buckets as well. So you gotta have six total. So if Jay gets three stops. Sean gets three stops, but Alex gets three stops and three buckets, he wins. And we're rotating each time, so. Everybody gets a chance to get a stop in a Yeah, you make it more fair, everybody gets a chance, but you gotta value each possession, that's what it teaches. So, trying to get them to value each possession when they're tired, make shots when they're tired. One shot, one shot, yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's so happy. But we can't show you down there, because we got a D1 athlete down there. Sucks, but Good take Jay. Good, Jay. One. So yeah, everything is going normal, everything is going as planned, but then everything just stopped. And I think you know why. Muhammad Ali, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, Jim Brown was still fighting this fight. I want all the complaints to be public record as soon as it happens. I was sad, man. I didn't really want to hoop. I didn't want to vlog. I honestly didn't know what to do. But I knew and I felt I needed to do more. So I attended a few peaceful protests with the same people I was grinding with. I signed petitions, I donated. I felt good doing all those things, but still felt I wasn't using my platform the correct way. Is, is the sheep I wanted to do something special. When he says, I'm not gonna let the wolf eat me anymore. I decided to do something special. Here, next time he comes in here, I'll do whatever I have to do to keep him off my back. Is the sheep violent or is the wolf the violent one? Dear George Floyd, I've been struggling on what to say. Not because there isn't anything to say, but because there's so much I could say. I'm angry, I'm bothered, I'm sad, I'm nervous. Like, what if I'm next? No more talking to my family, my friends, no more videos, no more basketball, all the things they love me for. Just gone. That's selfish. I, I feel selfish. I wish there was more I could do. Placing myself in your position has really hurt my heart. I hate that life is the way it is right now. What am I saying? It's always been this way. We need change. Forcing the right conversations with the right people is a good start. Correcting a racist comment by a family member or a friend is a good start. I just wish America loved us the same way they love our music. How we hoop and the way we rock our sneaks. And knowing that they love these things, then why kill us? None of that even matters if we're not alive to do it. I just wish you could come back to talk to us. I just want to say I'm sorry. I just wish you didn't have to die for us to talk. But I promise I will do my part from here on out. 
dear am I? He wasn't teaching hate, he was teaching common sense. You know, somebody's knocking you over the head, stop them. Do whatever you have to do to stop them. And here we are today, same grind, but a much better headspace. I find it crazy that you never really know how much is on your mind until you're just finally able to get it all out. Until you're finally able to do something meaningful and do something that will make you feel better about certain situations. I'm much closer to Clay and Laney now. We've had some of the best conversations about life and our struggles. I went to visit my family which was much needed around this time. The gang now has a combined channel again. It's been years since we've all been on the same page. And I'm just feeling good man, even R&B Jones is back. I just needed a quick break to increase the effort. And I'm sorry that all you saw were reactions, but if you know me, then you know that when I get serious, I don't always have the camera. But I am always working. Thank you for watching. Yo, and big thank you to my bro Kevin, Kevin Williams. His music is in the description, man. The songs that you heard, uh, just look them up on SoundCloud, Apple Music. Uh, his new EP just dropped. The songs that you heard in this video are two of the songs that uh, you can hear on the EP. And the EP is nice, man. Take it, take it from me. Appreciate you, bro, for the music. Thank you guys for tuning in. And yeah, I'll see you on the next one.